Okay, today we're going to demonstrate a professional tub refinishing uh, of a bathtub, I should say. Uh, many older homes have gorgeous uh, bathtubs that should be kept in the, um, in the property without tearing it out to get a new fiberglass tub. So we're starting with this tub, um, stripping of the tub with, with acid, an acid wash as we're putting on the acid wash there and that removes all the old film and uh, all your old spots and things from the tub you see it's brushed on there this is very very strong so that's why it's important that uh, we're wearing a mask and have good ventilation and as you can see um, the acid is being kinda like painted on the tub and you see how the old um, the old finish is coming off of the tub there Secondly, we um, have to scrape all of the, um, you know, all the any any of the finish that's left on you. It's it's scraped off so that you can get a, a really clean finish. Uh, make sure you're not leaving any sort of residue on the bathtub. That's what he's doing there is um, making sure he scrapes off any excess um, finish from the old tub. Okay, and once we once we have uh, the acid washed on, we take and wipe down all the all the finish. Uh, you can see we had to tape the floor really well um, so nothing gets on the floor. So it was important to put down the, the paper against the tub there and and uh, wipe out all the um, the ex the excess finishing of the tub. It's important that you have adequate ventilation here when you do this um, tub. And, we, and a lot of people will use uh, go to Home Depot and buy a product to refinish the tub, but this process is a process that guarantees the tub for up to about two years, makes the tub look really brand new, and it's really cost effective as far as a bathroom renovation is concerned when you want to preserve the um, current tub that's in there. I mean, this is a deep soaking tub, so there you have it. And you can see he's finishing taking off taking off the um, excess um, the excess finish from the um, acid wash that he did. So we're just cleaning it up, getting it ready for the final process. So sometimes tubs have, you know, little nick, uh, little nicks in them from maybe something being dropped on them. Uh, another process that we'll have to do is we'll fill those uh, nicks and scratches in to make, you know, to make the have the tub have a really good finish, and to, um, you know, cover up any nicks or scratches that uh, will help with the appearance of the tub. So as we see there, we're getting ready to apply the final finish to the tub. Uh, again, you need to protect the walls around the tub. As you can see there, um, the tub is ready for the final process. See there how we uh, use some Bondo type uh, material to, you know, take care of little nicks and uh, little scratches that was inside the tub. Make sure we cover all the fixtures, all your faucets everything those things are covered taped protected so that the finish doesn't get on there and here we see the final reglazed tub um, beautiful beautiful the tub looks brand new so the tub still has a lot of life to it and with this process that uh, you know it was it was in a bathroom that that time period of that tub needed to be maintained so this is the process we went through. 
Usually it takes the tub, once this process has t been um, completed, can't use the tub for about three days. So to give it plenty of time to dry, then after that the cleaning of the tub is very important that you follow the instructions. Don't use any harsh abrasive kind of material, just uh, keep it clean with a damp cloth. Uh, you can use you can use some cleaning material, but just don't use like uh, you wouldn't use like something real brittle uh, or brush or anything. Mm -hmm.